I'm super excited to share with you the sculpture that I've been working on for the last month. Um, this is stainless steel. This is a hand and arm with the I Love You sign, American Sign Language. If y'all don't know, this is I Love You. See if I can do this now. This fall I order. I Love You. The I and the L. I Love You. Um, this sculpture is being created for a client who um, has provided for me. And if you want to hear the story behind this, which you do, um, let me know in the comments. But my, my client has provided pictures. You see here on the wall the pictures and measurements of his hand and arm. This is his hand and arm that I'm sculpting uh, from this. And this is actually going to go into the, uh, the receiver on his truck. And it's going to be, when we're going to put a lock on it, y'all can't come and get it. But uh, it's going to be in the receiver of his truck. And so as he's driving down the road, this is gonna, going to be showing. This is so cool. The story behind it is amazing. You really need to um, tell me in the comments. Of course you will. So this is stainless steel. I, I welded a ton of stainless but uh, this is only the set, like in my lifetime, in uh, almost 16 years I've been welding, but this is actually the only, only the second stainless steel sculpture that I've sculpted. I mainly use steel. So this sculpture actually started out, if you can see, and we'll get you close on the details. Uh, this entire sculpture started out as an 11 gauge plate of stainless. Uh, well, many. Not just one, but many. 11 gauge and 5 8 inch stainless steel round bar. And uh, it was, let's see, I think 8 foot, an 8 foot length of it. I've got a couple. Uh, I have taken, the first thing I did was I took and cut, um, cut this. This is actually just the entire, like you can go and get a steel one of these for your truck, but I don't know if they make stainless. And I'm a sculptor, so sculpted. Uh, started out by doing a two inch, um, two inch by two inch uh, piece for here. Is this a hitch or the receiver? Please tell me. I feel like it's a hitch. What's the part that you always need the crap out of yourself on? Like that's how you the shin finder um, with the ball on it. That is the hitch. I feel like, and then the other parts, the receiver. Someone let me know. Help a sister out. So this uh, I made this part here. I haven't put the hole in it yet for the pin, but that'll go in. That's like the least part of, uh, it's like the easiest part of the whole thing is getting that right. Um, created this and then took the sheets and used my cutoff wheel and I've been cutting between quarter inch and probably like one inch strips of, uh, and they're, some of them are wonky, they're not exactly straight and it's like this is wonderful and there's a reason for that. So I start out by doing that, and then by cutting the round bar into little pieces. And these are anywhere from, again, quarter inch. Uh, I got a couple that's like an inch and a half. Some wonky pieces. I've got pieces I've cut and welded and cut back off, and there's a lot that goes into it. But what I did is once I had this piece here, hitch or receiver hitch, I think it's a hitch. I think it's a hitch. Please tell me it's a hitch. And I had this piece here, and I started by taking these strips, and I shaped the elbow on here, and I needed to get this angle. And in order to do that, I just have been referencing the pictures that I have. I've got them hanging here on the wall. Um, my client provided the like the most incredible pictures. The measurements were just wonderful, and it really helped me. It is a challenge to recreate something that I've never even seen before, other than in, in pictures. So. I'm hoping I'm doing it good. You guys will have to let me know what you think when, uh, like, as we get going. So, uh, got the elbow shaped up and just started shaping up the hand. I did try it out on my bench, which is, this is new for me. I don't know if you can see, but I got a couple of sideways. Because I'll tell you what, this is wonky because I have to do this, but then I can't see. Because this is his, his right hand and your right, it just changes your whole arm the shape of your arm it just it's wild and so I have to look at the pictures from several different angles because as you're creating it like it might look one way in one angle but from another angle 
you realize it goes like this instead of like that. And so there's a lot of, of changing. So I'll get the, the general shape of just like as very basic as I can. Here's a general shape of the arm. And then I got the general shape of the hand. And then once I did that, I went back in with the, the plate, like the strips. And I just simply, I'm taking, and you see this has a little curve to it. Um, I'm taking these strips and I bend them in a couple of different ways. I've got a piece of the 5 8 inch round bar cut in half on my bench and you can lay it here and you can hammer it. I can take it like this on the side and hammer it like that or I have lots of holes in my bench. If you've been reading my books on how to weld art you've seen these holes, you know them, you know this bench. Well, I could bend this and so I get it in a general shape of where I want. I'll bend it, I'll tack weld it in, I'm using the TIG. This is completely done with TIG welding. Um, usually I'll MIG weld to tack things, but this one has just been, um, I actually don't even have stainless steel MIG wire. I'm like, that doesn't exist in my shop, but I've got the TIG. So I've been doing stainless steel TIG on this, which just, I love TIG so much. So there has been a tremendous amount of putting the pieces in, but then looking at it from a different shape. And like I said, like looking at, I work with shapes and like, so seeing the shape here in his hand, like this kind of dents in a little bit, like how he's got it. And so it's like, okay, from one angle, it looks like one thing. But then when I get that on, I look at it from a different angle and realize it's not correct. So what this has been is a huge process of the, you know, tack on, cut off. And I've gotten the arm, I think 100% where it's supposed to be. Now, when I get to this point normally, because the hand is not 100% where I think it should be, there's still a lot of filling in to do. But what I'm tempted to do is when I get in here, I'm like, oh joy, I can weld because I've been tacking for a month longer than this welding here. It's just been a crap load of tacking and looking and tacking and just looking. And there's a lot of thought that goes into it. And so I'm so tempted to start welding when I get to this point because I miss it so much. But what I learned the hard way on, um, you, you don't do this, so you don't ever, ever start welding here. You get everything 100% where you need it to be, and then you weld, and then you grind. And then if you need to fill things in and fix them, which you do, then you weld and grind more. On the Statue of Liberty sculpture I created for the American Welding Society, and you can go back and check out the video, there's a whole bunch of how I screwed that one up and how much it took longer to do it. Because I got excited and needed to weld. <laughs> uh, I had it and I, I welded on the back and it took the sculpture, let's see, well, however I did it, I took it and it ended up bending her forward. So I ended up having to cut the sculpture out, cutting like this football shape, like, well, like an eye, like a, weld that shape out of here to like lift her up because I had welded all on the front and it had bent her over. So as much as I'm tempted to, no, 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 I still have more to go. So today getting back at it is getting this hand. You can see like it's just rudimentary. Is that the right word? Like we're just going to say it's welder rough. <laughs> I think rudimentary is a word. It feels right. Anyway, y'all can get back to me and Google that and help us sit out on that one too. So I think the palm is 100% where it's supposed to be. And this is just so cool to, to see this like really just start to, to come to shape. There's a lot of different moments that you have to look at to make sure. And that's why it's just such a process. So making sure that like you can see through here, it looks the same here as it does here and on the back and here. So Today it is uh, making sure that the hand is 100%. So I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for hanging out and checking out what I'm working on. I would love to know what you're working on. Please share with me down in the comments. Let me know what are you welding? Do you want to weld? Are you welding art? Any questions you have on what I'm doing or any tools that I'm using, I'm happy to share this with you. I do have links in the description to all the tools that I'm using. I'm not sponsored by anybody. These are Amazon affiliate links. So I do get like, I don't know, two cents if you click on them and buy something. Please help a sister out. I could definitely use some new gloves. I'm, uh, I'm wearing through. All right. 
I love you to the moon and back of a zillion times. Happy welding, y'all.